Shut the front door, it's happening! It's happening! Stephen! Hello friends, I have some Prehistoric Kingdom update news for you. They have just announced the 1.0.4 update. <laughs> which is part of the minor update. It's the second version for early access. And we're going to take a look at all the features and we're going to start right now. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing to know is when you go to load the game, we actually do have now the load workshop item. So that's really cool. I do love that. As you can see, I've got multiple saves of my park because of the incidents that we've had before. But we're just going to go ahead and open up some Lachlan's. First things first, is we have trees. Look at that. We've got trees on the hills, on the mountains. That is cool. I do like that. I did actually go away and take out all the trees. Uh, these have obviously been placed by me, but it's really nice to see that on the different maps now that we do have trees. Um, some people were complaining about them being trees, you know, kind of on the cliff face. Uh, do you know what? You could be pretty picky about things like this, but I think it looks fine. Um, but yeah, really nice, really nice touch. So first of all, let's talk about the workshop. If we wanted to put something on the workshop, again, I'm going to put a tutorial out there for that. But for example, say if we wanted this, now let's take that off because we don't need that tracking on there. And if we wanted to save this as a prefab, which I already have because I have loads of prefabs that I've been working on. Um, I don't know if that one's necessarily in here. Uh, no, it's not. So we'll just go away and pick something totally random. Let's put our Henry the Hoover on the workshop there. So create a new workshop to upload it. That is looking very, very chunky as a picture. Henry the Hoover for all your staff room needs. Upload to the workshop. So I believe this is going to be a nice, fast and easy process. Again, I'll, I'll make a tutorial. Um, so that says it's uploaded now. And look! There he is, there's wee Henry. So it's getting analyzed, which is fine. But look at that picture, that picture is absolutely tiny. Uh, not fantastic. Again, I'll figure out a way to make this looking a lot better. But there is our Henry the Hoover, Hoover, Hoover uh, ready on the workshop for people to download. So I'm gonna basically spend all afternoon uh, all evening, should I say, and um, putting all my things up on the workshop. So there we go, workshop, fantastic. Next thing we're going to talk about is that group select. Um, so let's see how that works. What we'll do is we'll go away and put down, we'll put some props down, in fact. Um, we'll just make this totally janky as heck, uh, a little bit more. Um, so yeah, we've got all this now. Aha, select it. So that's that's interesting. So when you're outside of a group, you cannot select it. Um, so we're outside that group, can't select. But if we go into it now, um, I would assume you go to edit group. And there we go. Yes, that is so good. I love that. So we can modular select now. Very, very cool. And obviously modular delete as well. Uh, yeah, that's really nice. Love that. Ah, uh, yes, the terracotta roof sets. So let's have a look for them as well. Uh, so yeah, they'll be in the roof, obviously. Um, I'm just going to place down any old roof. So we'll go for this one. We'll just get a, a bunch of them there so we can have a really good look. Um, so again, if I went in... Oh, box select. You beauty. You absolute beauty. So now, there we go. There is our new roof set. Oh, look at that sunlight coming in. Beautiful. Loving it. So the bottom is obviously nice and textured here. And then the top, you've got this awesome slate. And um, a standard, you can recolor it as well. So nice blue color there. Um, underneath the roof as well, you can have it different colors as well. That's really cool. So there we go. Terracotta roof set as well. I don't believe we've got any more. These are just obviously our standard ones as well. Yep, they are all as expected. We do have some new animal um, interactions here. So we've got our Tyrannosaurus. This is Stephen, um, happily named by one of my mods, Lindsay. And uh, yeah, I don't know if it's because I know there's an update, but geez, oh, this is looking absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, guys, I have got the biggest, cheesiest most excitable smile on my face right now. So much love for this game. 
oh god absolutely gorgeous oh little dip <laughs> a little leg dip there for Stephen. Uh, I'm pronouncing it wrong. It's Stephen. But yeah, there there is the the new behavioral animations: Tyrannosaurus, Montosaurus, and Iguanodon, and the Parasaurolophus. So we've got four new animations that we are going to have to be looking out for, um, which I'm really excited about. Shut the front door! It's happening! It's happening! Stephen, Stephen done a roll. Oh, I wish I was down here to, to witness it. Oh, stupid. My little legend. The look of love. Bye, friend. Bye. So, I have looked at the patch notes yet again, just so I'm covering absolutely everything. There is added distance foliage to far away relief. So, basically, that means that... Um, I think when we are, yeah, we're going in and out, our foliage is no longer disappearing. It, it would be nice if that would happen with, you know, some of the the structures there. But I think that's just something, obviously, they're going to have to be working on. Uh, and maybe it's just the case that we'll never get that pinned down because of whatever reason. So, yeah, awesome. You also have some real-time cloud reflections as well. I mean, our clouds are, are slowly moving on, looking really good. I mean, look, the moon's out, the clouds are going. Ah, oh, so good. So, so good. I mean, Lachlan's has never looked so good. <laughs> it's uh, it's really not. It it's just, you know, fascinates me. Sun goes up, sun goes down. But look, the reflection of the clouds on the actual like planes at the background there. I think that's what they were talking about. But little details like that make such a huge impact on the look of a game. That is super clear. Now, it does say something about added selection graphics to objects that previously lacked, i.e. wind turbines. So let's go away and find ourselves a wind turbine. Um, and we'll put down this one next to it as well. So let's have a good old look uh, and see what that's all about. I don't know if it's maybe just like this little attention to detail that they've maybe added in as well, putting in some of these graphics on the side. To be honest, I couldn't tell you if it did have it previously or not because, I mean, I've just not noticed it, to be honest. Um, I don't tend to play with uh, electricity, especially in Lachlan's because everything is all powered, so there's no need to to put this down or is it all powered maybe we do have a couple of these but i might have hid them under the ground okay we've got an auto save right now it's saving up at the top and we have not been flicked midair so that's really cool i do be loving that and um, one of our audio changes is also that the celodonta has an ear and tail flicks so we do have a celodonta down there but it's currently sleeping oh here's the other one um, let's see if we can get a good old, good old grunt from our Celadonta here. So far, I can't really hear it, but it's maybe because they're not they're not doing. Uh, oh, that one's just oh, they've just done a little ear flick. Not really hearing it much, but maybe it's just because I'm being a bit too impatient. But if I do find it, um, find out what it is, then I'll certainly add it in as well. This Celadon has had enough of me. Doesn't want to be anywhere near me. I don't blame you, love. Off you go. And then over here, we've got our mammoths, and they do have some additional sounds to them as well, which will be very interesting to hear them. Again, off the top of my head, I don't know what they usually sound like. Kind of just doing their thing, really. It'd be really nice to actually have uh, Byron or Nano onto uh, a live stream to go through all the little subtle sound changes really cool. Can't get over how clear this game looks now. It has a little bit of a growl there. Now it does say something about the screenshot mode so we'll have a look at that as well. So here we are in screenshot so let's take a picture of our mammoth here. So we've got depths of field which is a standard so we'll do a good old zoom in there. Camera roll still not doing its thing letterhead has always been a uh, letterhead letterbox even has always been working um exposure time scale this is um i think it's this part that's that's had the update 
So if you wanted to, to maybe get them in a different position before you take a take a shot. Yep, all this is working as well. Time of day. Nice. Ah, this is back. Hurrah. This is awesome because um, before this was disabled as well. So that was um, a right frustration for when you're wanting to take some really nice screenshots. So glad to see that that's back. Um, fog is not, um, not back either. So yeah, that is our screenshots. There's also um, a water sound effect as well. I don't know if we'll be able to hear it if you go underneath. You do. You hear the little splash. So it sounds like we are underwater. And then if we come up again... Ah, nice! That's cool. That never happened before. I like that. It's the small things, guys. It's the small things, but sometimes the small things is exactly what you need. We will have to obviously check out the, the other updates. There is a fix to do with the water brush as well. So if we go get our water here. So I've just painted that on. Um, and I've just undone it, but I've still got this uh, rather strange looking section here. Don't know if that was necessarily um, a change or not. Um, let's try try it again. Go for something that's smaller. So, um, and obviously we wanted to remove it. We would go for that, um, and that would take that away. But if we want to put it back in again, but if we do Control Z, ah, okay, interesting. I don't know why we have this like massive cube. Um, so I think it's maybe on like smaller surfaces. So again, if we put in just like a little, little patch there, and then do Control Z, mm, it still, still gets this kind of funky, uh, block almost. Although it does say fix water brush, undo, redo, artifacts. So I'm not entirely sure what artifacts means, but um, hey, if anyone's from Prehistoric Kingdom who watches my videos and wants to clarify absolutely more than welcome to jump into the comment section so as far as i can tell that is it from our prehistoric kingdom minor update let me know if you enjoyed it let me know if you want to see more prehistoric kingdom here on the channel give this video a thumbs up i will always appreciate it and i will catch you in the next one so until then take care